I doubt Xi Jinping cares about his chemical and pharmaceutical industries supplying the Mexican cartels that are flooding the United States with fentanyl. But let's be clear, his government's negligence is helping unleash a deadly wave of fentanyl-related deaths. According to federal officials, China and Mexico have stonewalled information sharing and other basic steps to counteract the fentanyl crisis in the United States. Federal officials appeared before a Senate committee on countering illicit fentanyl trafficking, yet their testimony pointed to a failure of international cooperation that has allowed cartels to import the precursor materials from China into Mexico, where they synthesize one of the deadliest drugs in the world for distribution in the United States. Often to customers who believe they are purchasing more familiar, less lethal prescription drugs. China agreed to clamp down on fentanyl exports in 2019. But Chinese officials have shown little interest in preventing drug cartels from acquiring the chemicals they need to produce fentanyl. The country also suspended a counter-narcotics initiative with the U.S. in August after then-Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan. And Mexico, for its part, has proven uncooperative with DEA officials in terms of information sharing law enforcement, and the extradition of 232 drug-related defendants. Mexican cartels leverage their drug trafficking profits to acquire sophisticated weapons, corrupt officials, challenge the authority of the Mexican state, and commit terrible atrocities. While many Republicans' questions centered on the relationship between border security and drug trafficking, one witness emphasized that most of the fentanyl passes through legal ports of entry, despite federal efforts. ...through official ports of entry. What I can tell you from our cases and the work that we do across the United States and across the world is that virtually all the fentanyl that we are seizing in the United States is coming from Mexico. And we do believe that much of that is coming through ports of entry in California and Arizona.